Hi everyone, I am Suma Sheshadri. I am a product manager at Cisco Systems. Today I am going to talk about Office 365 external live feed categories using REST based web service in WSA. We are seeing more and more enterprises embracing the cloud and leveraging cloud applications to improve their productivity. Cloud adoption can help enterprises significantly accelerate delivery of IT solutions by allowing them to access services more flexibly and cost effectively. Currently, Microsoft's Office 365 is the most widely adopted cloud application suite in the world. As Office 365 traffic is completely encrypted and Office 365 applications use large number of connections, adopting Office 365 applications can put massive strain on existing proxy servers. Let's examine what are Microsoft's recommendations to organizations in handling Office 365 traffic. Microsoft recommends bypassing proxies wherever possible for Office 365 traffic. Microsoft publishes the list of IP addresses and URLs of the Office 365 servers on the internet so the enterprises can bypass the traffic sent to these IP addresses and URLs. So what are the challenges that the administrators encounter while configuring the list of IP addresses and URLs on the proxies in their networks? Enterprises need to ensure security of the traffic passing through their networks. For compliance, enterprises need to log the traffic sent out of their networks. Hence, bypassing proxy for Office 365 traffic is not a solution that the administrators consider. Administrators need to configure a large number of IP addresses and URLs on their proxies, which is tedious and the administrators have to perform this every time the feed is updated. Hence, migration to Office 365 applications is not seamless and is a huge overhead on administrators. So, what is Cisco WSA's solution to handle Office 365 traffic? Starting in Async OS release 10.0, an administrator can create custom and external live feed URL categories that describe specific URLs and IP addresses. This feature enables administrators to periodically get additional sources of information for WSA to act on and once configured this happens automatically. At the expiry of periodic timer, WSA checks if the new feed inputs are present and if present fetches the new feed file and uses it to allow or block the traffic. WSA performs this task dynamically and doesn't require proxy to restart and doesn't impact traffic. Feeds can be sourced from any external location. It can be government feeds, external security agencies or any other security device in the network or it can be in Office 365 XML feed format. What are the benefits of Cisco WSA's Office 365 solution? This feature reduces the manual work that admin has to perform every time the feed is updated. It completely eliminates tedious and repetitive manual configuration that the administrators had to perform to act on feeds from external sources or to migrate to Office 365 applications. The entire process is completely automated. The result is massive gain in operational efficiency. What are some of the changes in the way Microsoft publishes URLs and IP addresses of the Office 365 servers? Microsoft recently announced end of support for providing Office 365 URLs and IP addresses through XML feeds from 2nd October 2018 onwards. Microsoft has started supporting a new REST API based web service for providing Office 365 URLs and IP addresses and these feeds replace the feeds in XML format it previously supported. The support for the Office 365 external feed categories through REST based web service is included in WSA Async OS releases 10.5.3 and 11.5.1. These changes will be part of upcoming Async OS releases as well. How fetching Office 365 feeds using REST API based web service works? First, the admin selects Office 365 web service in the custom and external URL categories page on WSA web UI. Admin configures web service URL and periodicity for auto updates on this page. Once the configuration is submitted and committed, WSA retrieves external live feed content through the Office 365 REST based web service periodically as it does for feeds from an external source or Office 365 feeds in XML format. 
Fetching Office 365 feeds both in the XML format and through REST-based web service is supported in the current implementation. Support for fetching Office 365 feeds in XML format will be removed in the future async OS releases which are still in planning. Once the Office 365 feeds are fetched through REST-based web service, WSA parses and uses this information to help our customers create access policies and decryption policies using the configured Office 365 external feed categories. WSA applies these policies to allow or block the Office 365 traffic. The REST API used to fetch feeds from Office 365 web service accepts various input parameters. Service areas represents Office 365 service areas. Valid options are Common, Exchange, SharePoint and Skype. Tenant name. The web service takes the provided tenant name and inserts it in parts of URLs that include the tenant name. No IPv6 includes or excludes IPv6 addresses from the output. Instance specifies the instance to return the endpoints for. Valid instances are Worldwide, China, Germany, US Government DOD, US Government GCC High. How is support for Office 365 REST based web service different from support for Office 365 XML feeds? With Office 365 XML feed, only one external live feed category could be created for all the IP addresses and URLs in the XML feed. Since Office 365 REST based web service accepts various inputs, Multiple external live feed categories can be created. For example, multiple external feed categories can be created for various instances worldwide, China, Germany, US Government DOD and US Government GCC High. Here I am showing few of them. Similarly, multiple external feed categories can be created for service areas Common, Exchange, SharePoint and Skype. Again, I am showing few of them here. Admin can use various combinations of service areas, tenant names and instances to create various different external feed categories based on their use case. For example, customers can create one external feed category for instance Germany and service area SharePoint, another external feed category for instance China, tenant name Cisco and service area Exchange, and a third external feed category for instance worldwide. As we can see here, we are adding new capabilities to WSA by supporting Office 365 external feed categories using REST API based web service. This wraps up the overview of Office 365 external feed categories using REST based web service in WSA. Thanks for watching this video. Bye bye.